justinandchristina.ca, Seeking the Happy Life. Welcome to our RV shopping tour. We're looking at a $28,500 Canadian 1998 Pleasure Way wide body. This is about plus or minus $33,000 Canadian with sales tax if we purchase it from this dealer. Today, with the US rates, that's about $23,000. As you can see, we're testing out the Dodge chassis within the dealer's confines because we don't have the temporary insurance. This test drive is really important to us because it'll demonstrate whether or not the vehicle will need any additional mechanical repairs. And this would have to be on top of the non-financeable $33,000. As you can see, the 1998 Pleasure Way white body is well constructed, but on this unit some rust is coming out at the inseams, which worries us slightly. The rest of the body, including the paint and the stripes, really appear to be in good condition. So that's a plus. So now let's take a small tour of the inside of this cute little Class B RV. One of the things that both Justin and I like is the upgraded 12 volt fridge which does not come standard on the 1998 version of this RV. The microwave is quite outdated, small and standard. Although the kitchen in this RV is not the color that Justin and I prefer, the design and layout are quite interesting, including a slide-out lockable pantry, which, when well secured, will stop items from moving around. The kitchen area has a great deal of storage. The hinges seem to be well lubricated and open and closed. The locking mechanisms, though, appear to need a little bit more force than we're used to especially looking at newer RVs. The storage in both the lower cabinets and upper cabinets appear to be clean. When we open and close the drawers, they glide easily, but there doesn't appear to be a locking mechanism. This unit has a two burner propane stove. No oven though, which is still convenient for everyday cooking. The unit has a covered sink which can be used for additional storage when you're going down the road. Not just dirty dishes but anything from rags to dish soap. On the opposite side of the kitchen, this pleasure way has a wet bath. Although the wet bath does not expand into the shower, it does come with a shower, sink, toilet, medicine cabinet, and additional cubby storage near the toilet and at the top just above the window. The only thing I'm concerned about is the size for my husband because although I'm 5 foot 2, he's about 5 foot 9 and pretty wide in the shoulders. I don't know how many showers Justin would be comfortable taking in this pleasure way. Right next to the wet bath is a decent sized closet with hanging storage, an area for dirty laundry in a bag, and a shelf which is lit by a light so things can be illuminated even in the dead of night. The drawers in the bed area have a decent amount of space, slide, but do not appear to lock. Therefore, I would avoid putting heavy items in those drawers. 
The upper cabinet above the drawers, although spacious, has an unusual outlet which we're not sure what it is used for. These storage cabinets within the bedroom area have two with locking mechanisms and one with an open shelf. In the cubby couch area, there is an older television available to the purchaser. We would definitely remove the older television, use that cabinet for storage, and have a flat screen TV added on a pivot mount. The back area is presently a couch, but it actually transforms into a full double bed. The dealer will not allow us to transform it from a couch to a bed, so now we'll just take a look at the accessible storage under the bed. All this carpet would have to be ripped out and replaced with vinyl, so that when we bring our fur baby Angel with us, things would be easily cleaned. As we leave the back area, we gotta watch out to not hit our heads on the ceiling. Tour is over. Thanks for joining us. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And if you'd like to see our new videos of Workout Wednesday or our RV vlog, hit that notification bell. See you and have a great day. Bye bye.